Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going through my Vorkath guide. It's going to be a bit of a uh, low level stroke scuff setup, uh, which anyone can really use to uh, get themselves killing the big blue dragon. So before we get into the inventory, the items and actually fighting Vorkath, there's some quest requirements that you need to do. The first is obviously Dragon Slayer 2 to go and fight Vorkath. The others are the Haunted Mine to unlock the Salve Amulet. And then to get the E version, you need to complete the Lair of Tarn Razor Lore mini quest. And then to get that to EI, you then need to go and do Nightmare Zone. Or I think you can now do um, Soul Wars as well to uh, to get the uh, the imbue on it. Um, so yeah, they're, they're the quest requirements for the items that we're going to be using just uh, as a heads up. So to start off with going through our gear setup, supposedly Elite Void is meant to be best in slot at Vorkath. Personally, I've used Vo uh, I've used Elite Void for quite a few kills, and uh, I've not found it as, a, as effective as just using my best in slot usual gear. Uh, I don't know if that's just me, I don't know if it's just my RNG being weird, but that's just my personal experience. And these videos are about me sharing how I've learned to do certain bossing, uh, and hopefully you can take something from this as well. But um, yeah, Elite Void, if you have it, give it a go. Uh, but for this guide, we're going to be using using this lovely setup here. So to go through the items that I have on, I've got a magma serpentine helm. If you don't have a serpentine helm, because I know obviously I got quite spoon fed at Azora uh, that I managed to get um, a serpentine at like 204 KC or something like that. Um, if you don't have that, you could wear something like a slayer helm if you're doing it on if you're doing Vorkath on task. You could also wear something like a, um, uh, a blessed coif as well. Um, but you are going to need something to negate um, poison or oh, venom damage. So bring in uh, anti poisons or well, uh, antidotes plus pluses, uh, super anti poisons as well uh, is is an option. Uh, I'll, I'll go through that when uh, I've gone through the the setup and also the inventory setup as well. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Uh, we've then got the Ava's accumulator. I haven't got a Vorkath's head yet. Once I do, that will be going to the uh, higher tier accumulator. Uh, we've then got the Salve Amulet EI, which is the uh, the imbued, enchanted, I think it's called, uh, Salve Amulet, which you get from doing Nightmare Zone and putting the points on, you know, doing the imbue. Uh, I've then got Ruby Bolts E. So until Zol uh, Zora, uh, Vorkath gets down to 265 hit points, I use Ruby Bolts. And then when it drops below 265, I then switch to Diamond Bolts Enchanted. Um, that's because ruby bolts aren't uh, aren't as effective below that level of health, uh, and then you know diamond bolts come into their own below that. Uh, I've got a rune crossbow. This could be you know any crossbow um, that you uh, that you've got the highest tier of. So it could be a dragon hunter crossbow, could be a um, dragon crossbow. Um, you can take a blowpipe. I know there is a method that you can use a blowpipe, but for this one we're using a crossbow, um, and then our offhand being a anti dragon shield. Um, but yeah, whatever your best in slot crossbow is, um, I'd say rune is probably the lowest you should go. Uh, you can give it a go of adamant if that's all you've got, but uh, your funeral if you do get absolutely spanked. Uh, <laughs> I've then got a black dehyde body. Obviously, an ancient body would be better here or a Carol's top. Um, but I'm using a black dehyde body because that's the best in slot that I have and uh, it works. So whatever your best in slot uh, range body is, uh, I've then got Armadil Chaps for the uh, prayer bonus. Um, yeah, whatever blessed chaps that you have, or Carol's skirt, for example. Uh, I've then got Barrow's gloves. I've then got my Ranger boots, whatever your best uh, best in slot boots and gloves are. And then I've got an Explorer's ring just for the range bonus because I don't have an Archer's ring. Uh, but if you do have that, take that along. Um, but yeah, let's go through the inventory. Okay, so to go through the inventory, I have my Slayer Staff. And you're probably wondering, why the hell's he got a Slayer Staff? So if you equip the Slayer Staff, you can actually put the auto cast as... Crumble Undead, which you need to use to kill the little spawnling that uh, Vorkath will spawn every now and then. So if you just switch over to your staff during the kill, we will go through it in the actual, you know, kill example. It, it just means you haven't got to mess about going on your spellbook. Oh shit, where's the uh, Crumble Undead? You can just do it from your staff. I've then got my bolts that I've already gone through, which I sw swap out below six, uh, 265 hit, uh, hit points. Uh, I've then got an anti-fire potion as well that I sip just as I go in. I do sometimes run over the five-minute mark, so I do need to take another sip. Um, that's why I've got a three-dose a three dose, uh, there as well. Uh, I've then got two super restores. Um, I normally only use one, but I've got one there just for backup. Uh, one of these three sharks here I would normally swap out for a ranging pot just to boost my range stats, but I'm actually out at the moment, so that is another option that you could take as well. But um, yeah, just your best in slot food, but also food that you can tick eat as well with the grand ones. Um, 
The only other thing really in the inventory is my room pouch, which I have a Camelot teleport in, or I also have my house teleport in there. I mean, it's the same teleport, uh, my house teleport, so I can go back, recharge my prayer, recharge my uh, my run energy, and my sp uh, I say my spec, I'm not using the spec weapon. Uh, but if you did have the higher tier pool as well, you could use it to replenish your food as well, or your health. Uh, and then I Camelot teleport through the uh, portal that I have in my house, or you can just use the Camelot teleport. Again, it uses the same runes. You know, all good. Come to Sears Bank when it drops you uh, over here, or if you've changed your teleport to Camelot Bank, um, come in here, restock, and then go again. Um, the only other thing that I'd say is with the um, with the last three sharks that I have here, um, I normally would when I, I didn't have my Serpentine Helm, I was taking three um, Venom Curers uh, in this case, and it don't plus pluses. And when you are in the kill. When you uh, do see yourself be venomed, if you click your... Oh, it's going to run off. If you click your health orb, it will drop you down to poisoned. If you click it again, it will drop you down to completely clear. So that's just one thing to take, uh, take into account. So if you are going in without a serpentine helm and you want to use um, any of the roster of uh, antidotes or antipoisons, super antipoisons, whatever your, your, uh, your tipple is, uh, that's one thing to take into account as well. You can just click your health orb. Um, and I, I, when I was doing this in one of my progression episodes, people were going, why are you wasting antidote plus pluses? I found that if you take antidote, antidote plus pluses, because it's mouthful, isn't it? Uh, if you take antidote plus pluses, I find that um, every other uh, venom attack that Vorkath does doesn't affect you. I don't know if that, again, I don't know if that's just RNG, but that's what I found. Um, so yeah, that's just another thing to take into account as well. All right, so I've rambled enough bollocks now that we're now going to go and do a kill. Um, so we are going to run round. I'm going to take you on a journey, some may say, uh, on to how to get to Vorkath. It's essentially, we come out of uh, the bank here, go on east, then go north, then west, then north, and then up to Relica, and then use the uh, Ungal uh, ship over here. Uh, so let's run there now. Um, you don't need run energy when you are doing the kill, so it doesn't really matter if you've got your run on on this bit. Um, you're not going to need it when we're fighting, so uh, just keep that in mind. You know what? You know where we're going. I've shown you on the map. We got literally just going around here for time's sake. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna jump to when we actually get there. Um, but yeah, you've seen it on the map. Right. Okay. So we've got to the uh, the charter ship, which is just in Relica, like I said. Literally just gone. Ooh. Ooh, and then we're here, okay? Uh, so then, if you do die as well, you can collect from Torfin here. Uh, I haven't died, so uh, I haven't got anything. So if you use Ungal, uh, the, tele uh, the, the transport, we're then going to run just north. And uh, you see where I've got this uh, marker here? That's where we're going to step over. But we're not going to go in yet, because there's some things that we need to go through. So there are um, a multitude of attacks that Vorkath uses. He's got, you've got the uh, little orange kind of fire breath, which is a magic attack. Just FYI, we're praying range when we're fighting. I'll go into this when we're actually doing the kill, but um, we're going to be praying range uh, because we've got the anti-fire uh, pot that we're drinking. We've also got the anti-fire shield, so it's going to really drop down the amount of damage he's doing via fire breath, which is most of these magic attacks. So orange fire breath <sighs> does a little bit of damage. It's okay. He's then got a green version of that, which is your venom attack. Uh, there's then a pink or slash purple version that he does that will turn off your prayers. So when we, uh, you know, set up our quick prayers, we want to have protect from range. And we also want to have eagle eye or rigor if you have that um, on your quick prayers. So on your quick prayers, quickly tap it back on. Happy days. That one, as soon as he attacks, you can literally tick it back on. Um, it's, it's really easy to work out. And we'll go through that in the kill as well. I will commentate through the, the kill that we do. Um, there's also a white version as well of the uh, little fire breath. When that hits you, you'll be frozen, and then he's going to spawn his little uh, little minion. When he spawns a little... When, when you see that white coming in, hits you, switch to your uh, Slayer Staff, make sure that you've got your spell selected with Crumble Undead. Literally click on the little blue thing that comes towards you before it gets to you, otherwise it's going to do a lot of damage. Kill it. Happy days. It, it one-bangs it every single time. This is also a good time to eat up as well. There's certain uh, certain attacks that he does that are the right time to eat. Um, you've also got like a little kind of spiky ball thing that he fires at you with that one. Don't worry, we're praying range. That's his range attack. We're already protected against it. He then got like a little blue missile. That one can do some damage, okay? So you want to watch out your health on that one. If he is doing a lot of the blue ones and they are hitting you quite hard, if you need to eat, 
eat, all right? Don't let yourself get too low because he can turn around and absolutely shag you, okay? Um, he's then got two other attacks. One is his head will flick up and he'll fire a great big fireball into the sky, similar to what you did in uh, Dragon Slayer 2. Um, when that comes down, you want to move at least two tiles away from where it's going to drop. Otherwise, KO, my friend. You're out of the game. That's it. Done. So, tick, tick, tick two tiles away from it, or three tiles just to be safe. Again, we'll see it in the kill. Um, that's the main one to look out for. The other kill, the other attack that you need to look out for is his acid attack. So he was head again. The head flicks up. You'll see a load of green speckles come out from the sky and land on the floor, and you'll see some green poisoned things on the floor. Do not walk into those because they will start to hurt you and give him more health back. But you need to keep moving the whole time. Uh, if you stop, the attack that he's doing while all this poison's on the floor will completely deplete your health. It's essentially he's firing bombs, and if you keep walking, you keep walking, you keep walking, it can't do any damage on you, okay? Again, we're going to be seeing this when we do the kill. Um, but just to be, you know, just give you a heads up, those are the attacks, and those are the ones that you need to look out for. With that being said, let's get into the kill. Right, okay, so before we go in, well, you, you can go in, all right? He's, he's not going to start instantly attacking you. Um, so you can walk him, mosey on in. Uh, you want to sip your anti-fire pot. If you've got a ranging pot, you want to sip that now, turn on your prayer. And then we're going to poke Vorkath. We're then going to walk back three, four tiles like this. He like he's waking up. And then we want to attack Vorkath. So that's that blue missile that does do quite a bit of damage. This is the one where you turn your prayer. Click your prayer back on. That's the range attack. There's the blue damage one. See, it did a little bit of damage there. Another one. See, look, that's done quite a lot of damage. I'm going to eat up. I'm not, not worried. Not worried. Okay, this is the icy breath with a little blue thing comes out. Switch to your Slayer Staff, click it, whack, happy days, and then we're good to go again. Click back on Vorkath. Okay, that's a range attack. The blue damagey boy. There's the fire breath. You, no one worries about that one. There's the range attack. There's the press switcher offer, shall we say. Blue demon ball. And there's the acid, so we need to keep walking. Okay, one thing you can do is just click between, you know, walk a bit away. And then just kind of click between, like this. Because if you stop, you're probably going to stop breathing because he's going to do a lot of damage on you. <laughs> and like I said, this is a good time to eat as well. Um, so we're going to click back on Vorkath. I kind of like to keep kind of a central uh, position. So I'm walking back over. There's the fire breath that we don't care about. Okay, there's the prayer off. Okay, switch back on. Blue Demon Ball, I'm going to heal up on this one. And that's nice because now we've got the little green boy again. So, slap him. There you go. Good night. And back to Vorkath. A good thing is about Super Stills and Prayer Pots is you can sip them while you're attacking. Um, it won't uh, do like, you know, with food where it goes, oh, we've got to do a whole animation, it's all good. Okay, that is the great big fireball of death. So like you say, you want to step two to three tiles away three to be safe and there we go there's poison again okay if you are pretty close um on getting hit with the uh with the poisons you can go up down sideways as long as you're moving it's all good and like i said good time to eat as well so you can tick it get your food back up and back attacking forecast like i said i like to keep the home position kind of just in the middle you know that is the uh, poison attack by the way so with this you would tap your your health orb twice just to negate that venom. Okay. And there we go. Switch to the Slayer Staff. Take out the little spawner. Again, good time to heal up if you need to. Just keeping an eye on that hit points. We can see it's dropped below 265. So we can now switch over to our Diamond Bolts. And then we go, range attack, we're praying against that, all good, all good. Blue toothpaste bomb. Again, heal up. So we're just going to tick between, it's all good, it's all good. So we're just going to tick between. As long as we don't reach the tile, we're all good. Look at that, happy days, easy peasy. There we go, and get back to Vorkath. See, it's not bad. I mean, there's a lot of different mechanics that you need to learn for it. 
Um, but if you keep you calm, there you go, big demon ball. Sometimes he, I've had it before. Where he fired four of them in a row, and that was actually <laughs> it was actually night a nightmare. You thought the sky was falling on you. Okay, wait for the spawns to come in. Good time to heal up, prayer up. There you go. See if you have killed it by the time it gets to you. You see there, it exploded next to me. Doesn't hurt. It's only if it's alive next to you. Go. Big demon ball. Another big demon ball. Is he going to do a third? Is that a hat trick? It is a hat trick! Oh my god, the scenes! And then followed by a poison. See, it doesn't matter if we do take a little bit of damage from it. But like I said, you can do the old ticking back and forth if you really want to. If you are in a tight spot. Happy days, happy days. And back attacking Vorkaf. Like I say, I like to keep kind of central. And step away. Big toothpaste bomb of doom. Acid cloud or venom cloud. Sky falling. Some would call it the inferno meatball. I probably should heal up there. And it's good because we've got the icy boy next. Tag the spawner. Switch back to your crossbow. Okay, there's the one that turns off your prayer. I'll tell you what, he's doing a lot of damage on this one. Normally it's not this bad. <laughs> okay, there's a nice big hit. Big 30. Acid. If anything, you'll get to a point where you think the acid phase, the frozen phase, are just really annoying because you can't do any damage during those and it just kind of keeps adding to your kill, like your time. You can see, if you look in the uh, the far left there, um, you can see my timer's on 20 seconds now of my uh, anti-fire. Which is fine. We should get the kill. There we go. There is the kill finished off. Vorkath then does his little, Ree, oh, I'm dying, and uh, there's your loot. When I get there, Dragonstone bolt it, Dragon Bolt's unfinished. Not bad, you know, not bad. How long was that kill? Five minutes, five and a half minutes, which isn't great, right? We'll admit, it's not great, but it's not bad. You know, it's 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 learning the mechanics. Obviously, once you start getting upgrades to your account as well, the kills are going to get quicker, they're going to get easier. Once you start getting in the groove of knowing, you know, the Vorkath attacks and everything... It's happy days, all right? It's happy days. But, like I said, I hope you guys have found this video useful. If you have, drop a like. And also, uh, if there's any other guides you want to see me do, drop them in the comment section down below. Drop in a comment really helps with pushing the videos in the algorithm. So if you do want to, you know, help me out, just put anything down there, you know? Keep it clean, all right? Keep it clean. Come on. Uh, but anyway, if you are new around here, this is the first video you're watching. Subscribe for more. I do a lot of videos like this where they're just kind of easy guides on uh, how to do things. But I'm going to stop rambling. Let you guys go because I know this video is quite long. And uh, yeah, take it easy. Bye.